Hey, it's Matt Winning at winningstrength.com. We got irregular strength in the house today. And what we just witnessed was possibly the craziest amount of volume I've ever seen done on the bench press. 10 sets of five with 500 pounds. And then the last set, the 10th set was 510 pounds with an extra long pause. We got big Julius back here again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Julius through the winning warm-up. Now, this isn't exactly how he trains all the time, but he's had some elbow tenderness, and we're gonna try to loosen out all the kinks, get all the rust broken off from a long drive yesterday, and we're gonna see if it helps his bench press out when he's gotta do some really heavy sets today. Let's go. Usually when I'm warming up, I might do tricep extensions. You know, the weight is a little heavier, so it, it kind of irritates the, uh, the joints even more. And by the time I'm warming up on bench, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm properly warmed up. A lot of times, whenever I reach my top set, I'm already fatigued because I warmed up on the bench instead of like we did today when we warm up. So the key is to warm up, not destroy. You want to stimulate and not annihilate because he's got to do 10 sets of five today with 500 pounds on the bench press. Now to complete this type of volume, there's a couple of things you're going to need. One, insanely impeccable form. Two, a lot of counterbalancing. So what we did is implemented the winning warm-up today. He did 21,000 pounds in 12 minutes of warm-up, including a tricep pushdown, a bench press of various angles to warm up the shoulder, and a lat pull down to engage the lat. Then we went straight into the bench press, and he did 10 sets of five with 500, with the last set being 510 in the pause. Now, what we worked on today was stabilizing the bar in the, in the J-hook. So we actually pushed the bar as forward as we could, and then I locked the hand so when he starts to wiggle around and get set, he can't move the bar. That movement of the bar makes you loose again. So it's almost like if you lock the bar down, you're creating a very solid surface for him to dig in and get ready. The next thing we worked on was really locking in the lats, keeping the hands tight, and what we notice is as he gets tired, as most of us would with even half of this weight if we were kind of strong, is that he was losing his breath. So you probably can't hear because of the video, but we're talking about, hey, keep your air, stay tight. You know, you really don't need to breathe for five reps. But what you notice was is that he's so strong that he can actually inhale and exhale on the way up and down which would crush a normal lifter. So what we're doing is working on these little fine intricacies so that when he goes for the 800 bench, there is no technical error and he has tons of power and will be irrefutably easy. So that's what we're working on today at winningstrength.com. That's what we're working on at Buddhist Magnus. And we're full steam ahead making Julius Max the best bencher in the world. Delts, rhomboids, lower trap, great posture exercise. This is a central nervous system deload. So we're actually gonna deload the brain and the spinal cord and we're gonna overwork the muscle tissue. 